Hi everyone, I'm Sheldon Varco, the Membership Manager in New South Wales and South Australia here at Ostmine. And I'm joined today by Justin Blows, the Principal at Phoenix Intellectual Property. And they specialise in helping SMEs and METS businesses commercially leverage their technologies using intellectual property. With international travel still restricted and greater complications for METS companies in expanding and developing export markets, I'm catching up today with Justin to discuss the importance of intellectual property and how it can help open new markets. Welcome, Justin. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Sheldon. Excellent. So uh, just a first question for you, Justin. So why is intellectual property an important consideration for any market entry strategy? Well, the quick answer is that exporting companies with patents and trademarks perform better. The Australian government well, economists of the Australian government have shown that uh, Australian companies with trademarks perform better when the Australian dollar goes up or tariffs drop. And European economists have shown that SMEs with European patents are more than twice as likely to experience high growth. Excellent. So that's certainly a convincing argument for, for having your intellectual property in order. Um, when METS companies are, are looking at the area of intellectual property, what are some of the considerations for exporting? Mm, that's a really good question. Some of the most important questions include, do you have enough protection to encourage partners, for example, dis distributors to participate? Have you considered which markets to protect, for example, markets in which you or your competitors are active or manufacturing nations? And three, if you can't protect an expert export market because of weak local laws or your budget doesn't stretch to it, is it worth investing in that market if the rug can be pulled out from under you? Yes, exactly. And, and just touching, touching on perhaps that potential of the rug pulling out under you, what are some of the consequences of, of getting this, this wrong for METS businesses? And, and where have you seen this before? Mm. That can be quite serious. The consequence can be losing the market or even worse, being sued for infringing someone else's intellectual property. Gener generally, you need to protect your export investment and stop imitators and counterfeiters. And this can, be, this can be hard to do without considered intellectual property protection. And the, a, a really famous example of that is the Chinese market for Pfizer's blockbuster pharmaceutical Viagra. Uh, Viagra failed to capture ownership of a suitable trademark in the Chinese market, which resulted in a significant portion of the Chinese market for Viagra being lost to counterfeiters and competitors. And I think the dollar value of this era may have been in the billions. Wow. Well, it's certainly an important area and it's something as we re-emerge back into the global community over the, the coming months um, that METS companies need to start focusing on uh, once again. So thanks a lot for running us through that. Um, where can METS companies look for more information about this? Well, I, they can call me. I'm happy to speak to companies on plus six one four one zero zero one three zero eight nine. And also companies can read my recent article published in the news section of Osmine's website, which I'm sure you'll link in the post. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us today, Justin. Um, this is the first of a few different intellectual property uh, sessions that we'll be having together. And it's much appreciated uh, sharing your thoughts with the METS community. Thank you very much.